brand new video. I am super, super pumped for today's video because we are going to be organizing the cabinets and drawers around the house. We're specifically going to focus on the kitchen, the bathroom, and hopefully um, our bedroom dresser. So I'm super excited that you're here joining me today. Um, if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Alondra and I post videos on home and lifestyle. So if you like those type of videos, then don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to subscribe down below. Um, for those of you who have been watching my channel, I just want to say thank you so much. It means it means so much to me that you watch um, my videos and support my channel. My channel is nowhere near where I want it to be, but it is um, where it is meant to be at this point in time. So I'm just enjoying the process and also trusting the journey. So if you want to join the journey, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So now with that being said, let's go ahead and get started because we have a very big project but it's also an exciting one, so let's get started. I wanted to make this project very affordable in case you all wanted to do something similar at your houses, so I'm going to just share very, very quickly a little bit of the stuff that I got so that we can organize for today. So I went ahead first. First, I measured everything around my house that I knew I needed to organize, so like the drawers and the cabinets, just so I had an idea of where things were going to go and so that I wouldn't buy too little or too much of anything. But the first thing that I bought were these um, bins, and these I bought from the Dollar Tree. I got these bins, and they have like a grip here, so I really like these because if you put something in them and you open and close the drawers, like the things won't necessarily move around too much. At least that's like what makes sense in my head I don't know but I went ahead and bought a few of these and then um, I also bought a few of these because I think according to my measurements if everything fits correctly these will fit in front of like some of the cabinets so that we can keep like um, you know like the salsitas when you go to um, eat out and like you bring some home or like you keep some at like home you know you don't finish all of them so my partner really likes to save those so I thought these would be a good um, little place to put them and then I also bought this big bin I, I really like this one um, obviously all of this was only a dollar at Dollar Tree but I think I'm gonna put like cleaning supplies in here so we'll see um, and then I also went ahead and bought these acrylic boxes so I have these acrylic boxes um, and it comes with like seven and I'll link them down below I actually got them on Amazon um, and then I also bought this um, makeup organizer from Amazon so I'll link it down below and this one I'm gonna use for the mail actually so I won't even be using it for the makeup but that's what that's for and then I also have these baskets that I got at home goods so if you go to home goods they have so many cute boxes um, and these come with three so I went ahead and got these because I'm gonna put like toallitas in there maybe um I also got this broom holder so that I can put the broom and stuff like I want to put this on the wall so that our rooms are more organized and oh and I also have this that I've had for a very long time and I have them around my house already but I think this will be very useful for today just in case I really do need it so we'll see about this but it's like for the cabinet so you could stack stuff and I'll try to link one down below um, from Amazon if I can find one but I've had this for a very long time so yeah let's do it all right so the first thing that i am doing is emptying out my pantry and as you can see it is a very tiny pantry so if you also have a small pantry or have found a way to be more creative and play around with the space that you have i would really really appreciate some suggestions and tips because i would love to have more things in my pantry but i just feel like there's not enough space uh, but also I don't want things to get lost in there and put them behind all of these containers where I forget about it so it's a little bit difficult uh, but right now I am filling up these containers that I got from Costco they were on special and they are amazing so I'll try to link some down below for you all if you're interested in buying some of these but they have like the pressure buttons so it works really really perfectly and I filled it up with pasta trail mix oatmeal and chia seeds and what I'm doing now is just putting everything back into my pantry as you can see I have some pancake mix in there with some rice and some cereal as well and then moving on to this drawer oh my goodness this was super stressful just I think this is the reason why I wanted to organize because there were just so many things in here um, and it, they were miscellaneous things I really didn't know what I had in here um, because I just usually shove things in here when I don't know where else to put them so I went ahead and got these bins that fit perfectly in here and so my plan was to um, include a lot of these little salsas and to-go um, sauces from 
places that we go out to eat because my partner really loves to keep them and use them some other time because he doesn't like to waste them. So I wanted to have them in here organized for him to just grab and go. And then also putting in some of our chocolates and teas in here, like hot chocolates and teas in here. So this ended up looking very, very organized and I really, really love it. And it's still really organized right now, so I'm super happy about that. There wasn't a lot to do in this drawer because I'm very proud of myself. I usually do leave it very, very organized. This is more of my spices and sauces that I use for cooking. And as you can see, the spices are in a bin uh, that I got from Ikea and they are organized by like square and circle containers. So I just try to keep it as neat as possible. And then this other left bin that I have here, I have more of like pasta sauces and um, crumbs, like breadcrumbs and honey and things like that. So, and then I have my spicy sauces like outside of those bins because I do use them a lot. Now, I told you all that I have a very, very tiny pantry. So this is actually where I keep additional dry goods that I have. So I do have a lot more pasta that I keep in here. And then I have some um, chips and chiles and canned food. So I really wish I can put it in a pantry. So this drawer serves more of like a pantry um, addition, but I forget about things like they get lost in here so again if you have any suggestions then I would really really appreciate it and go ahead and leave me a comment if possible and um, yeah I'm just excited um, to hear some of your suggestions and tips if applicable if you guys have any um, I hope you do I've been looking at Pinterest but I don't know I don't know how to play around with the space too much as of right now but I'm looking into it I do have the spatulas or I did have the spatulas on the left side on the left drawer but honestly it's too far from the stove that I was always just overreaching for it so I went ahead and decided to move the spatulas to the right drawer which is closer to the stove um, but then that meant that I had uh, to play around with the items that I wanted to put in these drawers because I had a lot more items in this right drawer before and Moving them to the left side. I realized that drawer is a little bit smaller But I was still able to do that and then fix this uh, spatula drawer which worked really really well have so many mugs and cups and I just was really overwhelmed I actually ended up getting a few mugs that I don't really want or need so I'm going to give them to my grandma because she loves collecting mugs and a lot of the ones that I decided to give to her um, I believe I brought them from her house so they're hers or somebody's in our family because Sometimes we do rotate with like mugs and dishes just because we share food so much. So it's pretty normal. So I had just a lot of mugs and cups. So I decided to give her some of those. And I kept more of the ones that we recently bought from Travels or have a little bit more sentimental value. Like the little Wally one that you see there. Um, it is a like a partner cup. So when you put them together, they have a very cute heart in the middle. 
and my mom gave those to my partner and I for I believe Christmas or something a few years ago so yeah that was me um, sometimes I have this habit of like just looking at the camera and just laughing or smiling because I am really enjoying myself when I do these videos so yeah that was me in, in a very real moment As I'm organizing this cabinet, I realized that I really don't have many pots or pans. Um, I thought that I did for some reason, but I think it's just because I do use all of them when I make something. And so when I see them out on the sink or something, I'm just like, oh my god, there are so many dishes. Um, but I actually only have three pots and two pans and then some baking sheets. So it's really not that much, so I'm very, very proud of myself. y'all so I know this is an awkward little angle but right now we're going to organize at the bottom of the sink of the kitchen and this is one of my favorite places because this is where I have my cleaning supplies so we about to organize it I, it usually stays pretty organized but right now it's gonna look a little bit empty and then I'm going to add in a couple of my cleaning products that I have up in my cleaning drawer which I'll also show you all soon so first we'll bring in some products from over there down here and then um, I'll organize my little shop as I like to call it because I have a lot of cleaning supplies up there so I will show you all that but let's go ahead and go look into one of my favorite drawers as you can see it is pretty messy right here at least it's not organized but it's not like dirty or messy or anything so we'll go ahead and do that now The way I organized it is that right here in this section I have all of my daily cleaning supplies that I use all the time. So I have my um, multi-purpose cleaning sprays by Mrs. Myers and Methods and then this is for glass so I use it for the windows and glass around the house and then this is for all my wooden furniture so I use the Mrs. Methods polisher and cleaner for wood. So I have these here because these again I use daily and then when I clean the sink and um, some additional stainless steel products I do use this one so I leave that here. And then when I clean the sink, I also use this one. Um, so I use these pretty often, um, really all the time. And then back here, I have a little bit more storage space. As you can see, I have like a little organizer thing so I can see everything very well. Um, so I have some additional um, dish soap, but my partner uses it for his car sometimes and for other things. So I don't really use that for dishes. And then we have this to clean some additional things around the house. Um, we also have some hand soap back there that we don't really use at least not right now and some fabuloso back there um so i don't really use that that much either because my mop is um the one that comes with like the little i don't know how to explain it but i don't need fabuloso and then i have some cloro <sighs> That was a struggle. I have some chloro back there too. And then in this little caddy right here, I have um, our oil and then also some um, Arm & Hammer back there baking soda because this is more for like the kitchen and the baking soda is for the fridge so that it won't smell. And then this is some additional oil that I have in there. So this is it.
all right so this is my little store here um so i have all of my all-purpose cleaners on this side so these two i have methods and mrs myers and then I also have some hand soaps here from Raw Sugar and Mrs. Myers. And then these two lines here are going to be the dish soap. So I have a variety of scents, which is why I have several of them. Not all of them are full. Some of them are pretty empty, um, but I'm not currently using them. And then right here I have all of the Truman's products. There is a um, kitchen and sink one that's not in here. That's under my sink currently but I have the shower glass and floor one in here and then right here I have some hand sanitizer and my water to spray my plants and then my bar soap is here oh, a bar soap is here so uh, this is like my mini store and this whole thing actually used to be full of cleaning products but I recently just finished up a lot and then also gave some to my sister-in-law I gave her like a set and then right here is where I keep all of our medicine. We don't have much medicine, but this is where we keep it. And then I have like an extra, this is like all my inventory. So I have like an extra spray bottle up there. But yeah, this is it. variety of things this is a drawer that we open up the most because we have like our gel in here lotion extra toothbrushes our hair straightener everything so we have all of that in there and then in this one we have a few other things this is more of storage but we also don't have all of the things that we usually have in here like bar soap and extra shampoo and stuff so these are the two drawers and then this is the cabinet here um, this needs to get out of here because this is just here because I really wanted to, I didn't know where to put it, but it blocks everything else that's in here and it just makes it hard to access. So these are all like the cleaning supplies and like storage stuff and it is a mess in here. So we're about to organize. Let's do this. in our shower so it's really hard to just clean it with a sponge so we need something smaller so I use this toothbrush so that's a really good hack if you um, are struggling with like a sponge to clean certain areas that are really tiny I would suggest you use like an old toothbrush or like a new to whatever type of toothbrush so just use that <laughs> My idea for our guest bathroom is that I want it to be very welcoming to our guests and by this I mean that I want things to be very accessible for them if they need something or they want to be metiches you know and um, open up the drawers like I want them to feel like they can um, and so I want them to also feel and see like when they open it I want them to see things like oh maybe I can you know grab one of these or something um, so that is my idea with this drawer so I wanted to put more accessible things Things here because I really wanted them to feel like they can grab something rather than them having to feel like um, they're at my house and they're uncomfortable because they may need something or you know whether it's like a q-tip or a hair tie or something for like menstrual supplies things like that that are a little bit more 
you know sometimes are needed when you go places so I just wanted to do that with this section of our bathroom because it is our guest bathroom so as you can see I also put some little face towels um, down in the cabinet section because sometimes people do sleep over and if they want to wash their face or in the morning when they want to wake up they can use one of these facial towels and kind of just dry off or for their hands whatever they may need but I just want it to feel accessible and like they don't necessarily have to ask um, but they can just grab it and go entrance of the house we do have this cabinet where we keep the mail and this is a mail that we haven't um, gone through or organized so we have it in here and then I'm going to organize all of it in this acrylic um, this is actually a makeup set but I'm going to use it for the mail so I'll show you all how it looks this drawer honestly does get very hectic because we get so much mail and we also do get some mail from our family members for whatever reason and so yeah it gets really really hectic in here so I really wanted to organize it by name for my partner and I but also for our family members if they ever do have mail with us but kind of just dividing it up so that we can visually see everything and I absolutely love how this drawer turned out I'm super excited and hopefully we can keep it as organized as it looks right now that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe and like this video I'll see you next time bye